Hello, welcome to this video in which we will talk about Estilia Pepin and her contribution to education. Let's start! The main purpose of this video is to present the history of the Dominican educator Ercilia Pepin, her early years, her achievements, and her important contributions to the education of the Dominican Republic. Ambrosia Ercilia Pepin Estrella was born on December 7, 1886 in the city of Santiago de los Caballeros. Her family was prominent in the political life of the country, which led her to receive basic lessons in social and natural sciences, mathematics, French, English, physics, and other disciplines, from the teacher Salvador Cucurullo of Italian origin. From a very young age, she showed great skills to dedicate herself to teaching, at the age 14, she formally began her career as a teacher in a, a school for girls in Santiago neighborhood of Nibai. Contributions She made significant changes in the educational system of the time, adding subjects such as driving, manual works, and evolutionary geography. She instituted the school breakfast, imposed the uniform for school children, she enforced the national symbols, and the English classes were regularized. From 1909 to 1916, she dedicated herself to giving private teaching to groups of young women, to train them as normal teachers and bachelor's degrees in sciences and letters. In August 1913, she began a campaign of denunciation before the National Congress with the aim of installing a professional institute of higher education in Santiago. Achievements. At the age of 14, she formally became her career as teacher in the Garrett School. At the age 20, she appointed as director of Mary Lopez Neighborhood Garrett School in the Santiago de los Caballeros. At the age of 22, she asked some responsibility as a teacher in the educational areas of mathematics, physical, in National Sciences at the latest high school, replacing her teacher, Salvador Cucurullo. Ercilia Pepin was the first Dominican woman to start the feminist movement in the country, raising her voice in the fame of women's rights. In 1920, he founded the College of Ladies of Mexico, among others.